My name is Sarah Kress, and this is my analysis of the groupthink theory. Within the field of communication, numerous theories have been developed to help identify how individuals interact and converse. This presentation will focus on groupthink by giving a summary, evaluating the theory, describing where the theory is today, and identifying possible improvements. Summary. Groupthink is typically defined as a psychological phenomenon that arises when a group of people care more about avoiding conflict with each other than they do about the quality of the decisions they are making. This theory was created by Irving Janus and focused on how groupthink is present in groups who make decisions during a time of crisis. Its goal is to identify different factors that pressure group into being cohesive, ignoring differing opinions, and assuming that the group has moral intentions. This theory follows the empirical and scientific approach because it attempts to identify how a group will make decisions while under the influence of groupthink. Evaluation. Although the theory of groupthink makes many practical points, there are some weaknesses shown. When Irving Janus created this concept, he focused on applying groupthink solely to decision-making groups in crisis periods. Janus ignored other instances where groupthink could happen. There are many other areas of human interaction where groupthink occurs, and the theory neglects to promote those circumstances. For example, groupthink can occur between two individuals or in groups larger than 15. Not only does the theory limit the size, but also the purpose of the group. According to Janice, groupthink only focuses on collaborations whose intention is to solve problems. Task-oriented and problem-solving groups only try to change and make resolutions on an issue. The theory does not illustrate that can people can have groupthink outside of meetings where large issues are being addressed. Many times, groupthink can happen in small friend and family groups. It can occur in simple, everyday situations like when discussing where to eat, planning vacations, or even the evening's activity. One of the strengths of groupthink is the ability to withstand the test of time. The more it is investigated, the more influential it seems to become. The press and media still give the theory a large amount of attention, and we are willing to present new findings. Janice is cr credited to helping us identify and examine one type of group decision-making problem. The theory today. At this time, the theory has not made any major changes to its core since its conception. The original findings are still pertinent to individuals today. Notwithstanding, there have been a large amount of studies done <clears throat> that have reinforced the theory in different ways. A journal titled Groupthink developed a mathematical equation to determine the chances that groupthink would occur. The paper took into account the likelihood of a large group agreeing on one idea, as well as those who would be an outlier and not given to groupthink no matter the consequences. This journal added to the validity of the theory. Each of the studies and papers have added to the utility of the theory as well. Researchers have been able to broaden their understanding and influence how the communication field views groupthink. Improvements. Enhancements to the theory can be made by broadening the research, which will allow it to grow. More studies executed on less intense decision-making groups would assist in creating a larger scope. Another way to broaden the view is to not limit groupthink to problem-solving decisions. Additionally, stating that the theory has an intentionally limited scope will clear up any misunderstandings that might arise. Changing some of the core concepts in order to be able to track the progress of logic would also be able to address the issue of testability. 
Conclusion Overall, the groupthink theory has greatly impacted the way individuals and groups communicate with each other. During this research, I discovered that groupthink is more predominant than previously believed, and also observed that there are many different ways that a collaboration can suppress members with differing opinions.